Imagine. Nice. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Appreciate you coming. No problem. So, we, I, I was sort of talking about it. You, you, you got Ryan Bach. He, he's been part of the mix for a long time. Sure. What, what's, what, what's he, what kind of factors he been for this team, not, not just in the water, but out of the water this year? Uh, well, Ryan's got a, a lot of experience. He was on our relay a couple years ago, um, and then again last year. Uh, so he's been learning from uh, some of the other big swimmers we've had in the last couple years, um, Hangles, Kubelik, uh, Cordes. And uh, this year he had to kind of step up and uh, be the man, and he actually enjoys that. Uh, actually, he's, he thought he was the man when he was a sophomore, <laughs> and he was just a little boy back then. But uh, so he, yeah, he enjoys that role. Well, that, that's certainly, and I, you, you can tell me if you disagree, that, that's sort of the edge sprint freestylers, especially a 50 guy, has to have. You have to think you're, you're, the, you're the baddest guy out there all the time. You, you have to think that, and if you look at him, you know, he'll stand up on the blocks, uh, hopefully in finals, in the 50 and 100, <laughs> and he, he's, about, he's about five feet four inches. I mean, oh, he is a really geez. little guy, so, um, he, you know, he's got to really use that mental edge because he doesn't have the height. <laughs> But he, he's not the only guy. You, you got a couple other big sprinters back. Uh, what, what was the, the key this year when you were trying to find that, that fourth guy to step up for these relays? Well, it, the key for us is just train as hard as we can. And, and uh, we have a, a pretty big sprint mentality when we train. Um, and uh, the guys make it pretty aggressive. Uh, in the mornings, we, we just do uh, mostly sprinting stuff. And uh, the entire team kind of gets behind that and there's a lot of challenges that go back and forth between the guys um, and it, you know it's worked out we've had a couple guys step forward and uh, really do well on the relays this year you, you mentioned the practice I, I always enjoy that because not, not every kid takes pride in, in you know in what they do in practice every day but it, when you got that you know, that competitiveness and kids that you know want to beat the other kid by one tenth that, that, that's got to help you out as the year goes along oh definitely you know we'll do things such as uh, Stretch cords where they're, um, you know, we, we time them every morning on stretch cords, 25s from a dive, mm -hmm. and uh, they want to get certain times, and they'll battle with each other. And, um, you know, we mentioned Ryan Bach a, a couple years ago. Him and Chris Stiletto went at it um, in, a, in a practice, and uh, they almost went to blows. I mean, they were so physical and so into uh, trying to beat one another, and, and that's the mentality we want to have, you know. As long as they don't hit each other, it's good. <laughs> Well, I mean, that, that's something you hear, you know, about, about football teams and even basketball teams. I, that, that's, that's sort of rare for, I, probably for a swim team, for, for it to get that intense. But you, you say you think that's a, an atmosphere that can obviously produce great results, which it has for you. Well, it, it's just a, it's a fun, aggressive atmosphere uh, we have when we train. Um, you know, it used to be in the mornings we'd be going long yards and the guys would be looking at the clock and wanted. <laughs> get you know get out of there and, and now um i've got to kick them off deck and and make sure that they make that first period uh <laughs> class so i don't have to write a lot of passes so it, 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 that's good at least you're supporting the academics the, par the parents have to like that yeah there's some parents here so i i, <laughs> I need to say that <laughs> well, we talked at the beginning of the year and you told me that one of the goals of this team was to win the 200 free relay and that's obviously a, 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 a big, you know, a big goal out there to win any relay. But definitely, after you lose a Kubelik, it, it's, it, it's tough. And right. What, what, what was that? Something that the boys embraced from get-go and said, you know, coach, we're all gonna, we're all gonna rise up despite the fact that we lost this, this star. Well, we sat down in the beginning of the year and we talked about different goals. Um, and winning the 200 free relay was one of the things that the kids really wanted to do. Um, and yeah, replacing Dominic is not an easy task, but we do have three of the four back, uh, and um, you know they've trained real hard. Uh, there's a lot of fast teams out there. Um, you know, uh, looking at the sectional times, we're amazed at some of those times. So we'll see what happens, but I think we're primed and ready to swim pretty fast. I'm always interested. What's the, the the sectional game plan for you year in year out? Because there, there, there's some coaches that you know rest a little more, but you're not going to shave, or you know some, some hold back for the most part and just really rest them hard the week before state. Well, I think it depends on the athletes you have. Um, you know, we we've been fortunate that we've had some great swimmers the last few years, and we've been able to um, hold them back a little bit. Uh, this year, uh, we we had uh, everyone shaved except Ryan. 
Um, and we just needed to do that to have guys make their cuts and, and to get our relays across. Uh, so we're pretty confident that we're going to hold on real well, and we've got um, Ryan coming up uh, shaving that'll help the relays. Uh, but for us, the mentality is, is try and get as many kids to that state meet as possible because um, it's such an electric atmosphere and, and so much fun. I want all the kids to uh, take part in it, so we do what we can to make sure that they get to state. Uh, if they're talented enough that they don't have to shave, great, but um, I'd rather not risk that uh, and have someone miss out on, on what a great um, atmosphere it is. You mentioned it, and it's true. You've had a really nice run of some talented teams that perform really well at the end of the year. Is, is that something that when you see freshmen come in now, uh, that, that are that are going to be in that mix. If you do, do they understand that that, that they need to, to work hard to uphold that tradition. Well, you know, we do whatever we can to make them um, realize that we've had some success. You know, we got our trophy cases and, and all American uh, plaques and everything up, so they can they walk by that every day when they go into the locker room. And um, we don't have a whole heck of a lot of uh, great freshmen coming in, but you know, I'll go into the PE classes and, and yank kids out and. Uh, We've got two kids on our, our relay right now um, that just started swimming as freshmen, uh, Will Porter and Ryan Hyannick, and they were bad when they were freshmen. <laughs> I mean, they were, they're sitting over there, and they, they'll admit it. Uh, but now they're just amazing, you know, and they were, were able to kind of get into that culture and look at all the, the great swimmers and just kind of learn from them. Um, and, and I'm so uh, impressed by how good those guys have become. Is is that more, as a coach, is that almost more gratifying to you to, to see those kids that you're like, you know, they, they, they were a lost cause? And no, they, they I, I'd rather off. have the uh, J.O. champion coming in. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'd rather have five or six of those. Um, but it's nice to have a mix like that where you got some talented kids coming in and then you got some kids that just kind of, um, they just love it and uh, they catch fire in, in sophomore year and um, end up being tremendous swimmers by the time they're seniors. Well, you've definitely produced a lot of them, and I know that uh, the, the sprinters seem to show up for you at the end of the year, and so I'm sure they will this weekend. Thanks for joining us, well, I hope so. And I just want to say to my, my children at home that said they were going to watch this, Kelsey, uh, Emily, and Kyle, um, I'm sure that they realize this isn't an iCarly episode, so they probably <laughs> turned it off by now, but if you haven't, turn it off, do your homework. <laughs> All right. Thanks Coach a lot. Keith McDonald. Thanks, Coach.